right guys what is going on today i hope you guys are doing great so i'm going to do a quick video for you guys because in the last video a lot of you guys asked for a how to carve video so i figured i'd hop on my sled today and uh give you guys a little tutorial on how i do it you might know of a different way to learn it but uh i'll just give you the tricks that i know and how i learned it so yeah let's get started guys so it's actually really easy to do this once you get the hang of it you'll be doing it all day it's a lot of fun and it can actually be beneficial for you if you're out in the trail say or you're up in the woods and you have a tree coming you want to get out of the way real quick so uh, yeah it's a good thing to know when you're on a sled the first thing you want to keep in mind throughout this whole process is balance it's all about the balance you could compare it to like uh, pulling a wheelie on a dirt bike or a motorcycle or a pit bike you get that perfect balance and it enables you to ride it for a while. So, it's a lot like this, except we're gonna be going sideways and not up and down. So how I originally learned it, and what I like to do is I like to put one foot on the running board like this. So, I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna put it on uh, kind of towards the end of the running board because I'm kind of a tall guy and uh, that's where I, I feel most comfortable. So, I got my foot on the running board, I got my other leg hanging out in the air like so and uh really what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it some throttle i'm not going to give it a whole bunch because that'll send me into the trees over there but i'm going to give it just enough probably half throttle and uh i'm going to lean to my left kind of sticking my left foot towards the snow and uh, it's going to pull the right ski up so that i can lean on my left ski more and once i do that i'm going to find the perfect balance point so here we go i'm going to give it a little bit of throttle I'm going to lean, and there we go, I got my left foot hanging, and I'm carving, just like that. And then to stop, I just let off the throttle, and then the right ski comes down, and there you go. So a lot of people I see, they do it with two feet, so if that feels more comfortable for you, you can do it with two feet, like this. So I got two feet right next to each other, and I'm just going to lean, like that, pretty simple. And a big part of it is all about finding that perfect balance, like I said. Giving it just the right amount of throttle. A lot of times I like to blip the throttle a little bit, just give it a little quick snap. And that uh, helps me to get the ski up a little quicker. And from there I just control it, I kind of regulate it with the throttle. And again, a big part of it is going to be that throttle control and keeping your balance and your footing on the running board right here. Another factor to point out to you guys is when you're on one ski, you're gonna to need to control that one ski. Say you're, you're carving left, you're on this left ski, that's your main ski, you're gonna to need to control that. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of practice just to get that, uh, again, the sweet spot so you, you can control it with that one ski. So when I, uh, when I lift that right ski up, I'm really just uh, steering with uh, my column here just to keep it so that I can go where I want to go. If I want to go more left, I'll lean a little bit, steer a little bit more. If I want to go more straight, I'll let go leaning a little bit and I'll just uh, try to control the ski going straight. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. It might sound more complicated than it is, but it's really not. And again, once you know how to do it, you're going to have so much fun. It's going to be great. Say I'm headed for those trees. Oh no, the trees are there. I got a boondock. Just like that. It comes in pretty handy. And it's a lot of fun. I got to tell you guys, carving right is a little bit different as well because you have your throttle on your right side. So it makes it a little more interesting. But the same rule applies. You can take your left foot, just like you put your right foot on the running board on the other side. Put your left foot there, have your right foot hanging, and then carve, just like that. Again, you're keeping your right ski where you want to go, pointing it to where you want to go, keeping your balance, and uh, get, not giving it too much throttle, but giving it enough to uh, do, serve the purpose you want. You could use your foot to go against the ground, just like that, to keep your balance in case you start falling over more to your left or your right, whichever side you're carving on. So you can kind of use your foot to uh, spring yourself back up, you, you and this sled. And yeah, whew, I'm running out of breath. 
And then once you get the hang of carving on one side, you can switch in between. So carving left, to carving right, to carving left, to carving right. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You guys are gonna get the hang of it pretty quickly. We actually don't have very much snow where I am right now, as you can see. There's barely anything. So sad. But uh, it's a lot easier when you're in fresh powder, deep snow. It's a lot easier because then you could just, you can use more of your body weight to uh, throw it back and forth. Whereas right now I'm using most of the throttle because there's not very much snow. All right, let me see if I can set my camera down somewhere and give you guys a little bit of a demonstration. Huh? Let's try it. Uh, let's see. Right there looks about right. Sure. I'll probably kick a bunch of snow up in this. <laughs> oh well. All right, we are recording. So I gotta make sure I'm right there. Show you guys. All right, let's see if I can get in the shot here. Am I in the shot? Am I in the shot? You tell me, yeah? Okay, all right. shot on that one. Maybe not, I don't know. But there we go, we'll get a little closer this time. I probably went out of shot again. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Okay. That takes a lot out of you, I gotta say. Let's see if I can get this uh, selfie stick out and try and uh, do a little bit of carving with that. Oh yeah, we recording? Yeah, one, two, three, four. This is gonna be really funny. <laughs> All right, here we go, let's try it. <laughs> you can also carve sitting down as a matter of fact, but it's a little more difficult because you gotta shift so much weight against the snow machine. Well, let's try it. <laughs> we got it, we got it. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Oh, watch out for that river right there. <laughs> And there's the river. <laughs> One more, here we go. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the video right here. Hopefully this tutorial was beneficial for you guys. Hopefully it was informative, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys got any questions, just shoot me a comment, send me an email. Uh, let's see, message me on Instagram, Snapchat me, whatever you want to do. And yeah guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Kaboom!